This moment where I eat my handmade lunch alone in peace. This is the only oasis in a noisy, hectic school day for me, Izuki Shimizu. That's why I'm always alone while I eat. But I don't mind since I have these savory dishes in front of me. However, there's something that's been bothering me for a while now. That girl over there, Saya Kawai. She's staring at me again? I don't think the two of us get along. Kawai, who's in the same class as me, is one of the most popular people in the school. Kawai's as cute as always! Why did she easily become so pretty? Aren't you gonna confess your feelings to Kawai? No way! I've heard she's rejected everyone so far! In other words, she's the idol of our school. Good morning, everyone! The angel has descended from the heavens once again! Even though she receives special treatment, she's always humble, and that's one of the things that makes her so popular. She's famous for being outgoing and kind to everyone, but... To everyone, huh? I don't think I can believe in that rumor. What? Uh, no, nothing. You look like you have something to say. No, not at all. For some reason, she's always harsh towards me. Did I do something to her? Finally, lunch. I pick up my handmade lunch and speed walk towards the school garden. My feet feel light, almost as if I might start flying. Aya, want to eat with us? Shimizu's eating alone again. Aya! Oh, sorry, I was zoned out. I'm hungry, let's eat together. Together. Mm, these eggs, they have such a sophisticated, intricate taste. Give the most to the simple dishes. That's my motto. There's not a joy in this world that could mean more to me than when I succeed in making a dish taste exactly the way I wanted it to. Ah, the weather's nice and peaceful. There couldn't be a better lunch. Give it to us! Huh? What's going on? Give us your money right now! What are we gonna buy our lunch with without your money? I don't have any. Then ship! I didn't think delinquents that stole lunch money still existed. Our school's supposed to be one of the smart ones. Oh, whatever. Those delinquents are scary, but I must protect my peaceful lunch time. Hey, you guys need to stop. You got something to say? What is to make you jump too? I told the kid who was being bullied to run away. I was somehow able to let him run away. If you're so hungry, I'll share my lunch with you. Hey! Your lunch better taste better than the bread at the cafeteria. It's like a treasure box of flavors! This warm sweetness and saltiness. It reminds me of the lunch that my mom made me back when I was little. You two seem stupid, but looks like your taste buds aren't at all. Don't be noisy around here anymore. It seemed like the two were so grumpy because they were hungry, so they walked away the moment they were full. Were you eating alone again? Yeah, is there a problem? Even though I was disturbed by some weird people today. You won't be able to blend in if you do that. I agree, but I want to eat my lunch alone. I don't get it. I don't get why you care. I never understood why she'd get irritated just because I ate lunch alone. Even so, she seems worried about me having no friends, so... Thanks for worrying about me. Huh? I'm not worried at all about someone like you. Okay, okay. I didn't mean to make you angry. Hmm. Quit getting the wrong thoughts. Oh my, here she goes. <sighs> it's hard to understand, girls. A lot different from cooking, where you just need to follow a recipe to get decent results. Why is especially salty to me only? Just as I suspected, she must hate me so much. Whatever, our suits are being changed soon, so I won't have to see her grumpy face anymore. School's finally over! I need to go home and prepare for tomorrow. Shimizu's going home alone again. Why does he seem so fine with being alone all the time? No matter how much I... No, that has nothing to do with Shimizu. Aya, let's go home together. Is something wrong? Why so serious? No, nothing's wrong. I'm so excited to go to the karaoke with you guys. By the way, Aya. Huh? Why are you always so salty to only Shimizu? Huh? Uh, I don't mean to be salty to him. But I notice that you're pretty cold towards him. I've noticed that too, even though she's always smiling. Maybe it's just by coincidence? Shimizu's always eating alone in the school garden. Yeah, he always seems happy when he's eating his lunch. 
Right? Maybe it's handmade by his girlfriend. G girlfriend Aya? I was just warming up my voice before singing! My singing coach said that shouting, Girlfriend, warms up your vocals and lets you sing nicely! Girlfriend! Never heard of that before. She's going way too hard in her warm-up session. Bye, Aya! I had lots of fun! Let's go out again! See you tomorrow at school. Mm-hmm. See you. I've never thought about the possibility of his lunch being made by his girlfriend. If it were really made by his girlfriend... The moment that I longed for all day has arrived. I was all excited to enjoy my undisturbed lunchtime again. Shimizu. Kawaii? I wonder what's wrong. She always just stares at me from the building. I notice that you're always alone, right? Yeah. Maybe that's why you aren't able to even get a girlfriend? You look like you wouldn't have one anyway. I guess she's throwing all of her daily stress at me by chasing me all the way here just to say something hurtful. It's not that I hate Kawaii. But I guess that doesn't apply the other way around. I don't want my precious lunchtime to be disturbed by anyone. If I want to protect it, then I guess I shouldn't act too friendly and push back a bit. That's the best way out of this. I'm sorry to break it to you, but this was actually handmade by my girlfriend. It's sad to lie about something like this, but there's no way out. My girlfriend is someone who I went to the same middle school with, and we don't go to the same school anymore. So, that's why she makes my lunches, so I can feel connected with her. That's why I try not to be disturbed by anyone. I... I knew it. Huh? What did she know? What? Kawaii? But for such a long time! For such a long time! Wait, Kawaii! There she goes. Something about that even kept bothering me. I thought I saw a tear in Kawaii's eyes as she turned around and ran. But... That wouldn't make sense. Someone who hates me so much wouldn't cry just because I have a girlfriend. This is why I don't understand women. This day, our classroom seats were moved around, and Kawhi went over to the other side of the classroom. After the incident, Kawhi stopped acting salty towards me, and even stopped talking to me altogether. This might just be in my head, but it looks like Kawhi isn't as happy as she used to be. Good morning, Kawhi. Yes, good morning. Why? wonder what happened. She looks more dozed off than always. But even that makes her even more attractive. Dang it! I want to date her! I don't mean to be narcissistic, but I feel like the reason behind this is the fact that I lied to her. It's not like I know Kawhi well, but it still hurts to see her bright self to act like that. Even if this isn't about the fact that I lied to her, I should tell her the truth. Um, Kawhi? Shimizu? I wanted to apologize about what happened before. What do you mean apologize? About my girlfriend. I don't want to hear about her. Kawhi! She's so quick. I should chase her. <sighs> uh, finally caught up. Uh, I didn't know you were so fast at running. You too. You don't seem to be the athletic type. I can't play any ball sports, but I am good at long distance running. What then? Are you going to laugh at me while talking about how great of a relationship you have with her girlfriend? I can't believe Kawhi, who's kind to literally everyone, is getting us so upset. I could tell that my lie was irritating her a lot. You've got it wrong. I wanted to apologize because I don't really have a girlfriend. Huh? I make my own lunches. How did you lie about that? I didn't want my relaxing lunchtime to be bothered by anyone. And you'd always been giving me an angry look, so I thought you hated me. I wasn't watching you because I hated you. I've always liked you, Shimizu. Uh, 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 like? Quit acting so surprised. I had no friends back in middle school, and I was finally able to quit being so lonely in high school. So I'm still scared that I'll become alone again. Why? But you, Shimizu? You're always alone, but you seem so happy. I've always looked up to that part of you. If you don't have a girlfriend, why don't you date me? I... I never even thought that you would like me, and I even lied to you and hurt you. I don't think I'll be able to make you happy, given how dull I am towards dating. So I could just wait until you gain some confidence to do that, right? I don't know when that'll be. You're always alone, so I'll wait as long as it takes, since there's no one else trying to take you. I still can't believe that the idol of our school asked me out. On top of that, she even told me she'd wait for my answer. I need to make a move on my part, too. Um, if you don't mind, 
Would you let me make your lunches too? You? Make my lunch? I noticed that you're always eating sandwiches from the cafeteria. After that, Kawhi began eating the lunches that I'd make for her. Huh? I didn't know you brought lunch to school. Yeah, I'm bringing my lunch every day from now on. What? Did you quit your diet? Found something more important than being skinny. I is acting kind of weird. Apparently, a conversation like that was going on in my absence. Since I'm eating alone as always, no one would notice that we're eating matching lunches. Thanks, it was so tasty. You're welcome. Is something wrong? No, um, I'm just glad you're enjoying it. I can't... I can't tell her that she looks adorable right now. It's probably just because I'd only ever seen her salty side up until now. You'd make such a nice husband with so much cooking skills. Wait, no, I didn't mean my husband. Oh, yeah, I know. I'll wait for as long as it takes. You know, I'd really love to spend lunch time together with you. But aren't you busy with your friends? I could just come here every week. Do you not want me to come? To me, spending lunch time alone is a beautiful privilege, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. But for the first time, felt like it wasn't worth it to turn an offer down to protect it. All right, you can come then. Really? Yay! Every week it is then. Ever since then, we'd meet at the bench in the school garden to eat lunch together. These pickled radishes taste so good! Thanks. I made sure to marinate them over the whole night. Miss Kawhi's compliments made me happier than anything else in the world. It's amazing how you're so skilled, even though we're still in high school. Yeah, it's only my hobby. And besides, it's my way of dealing with going to school. Did something happen? I actually hated going to school up until middle school. After entering high school, I decided to make an event in my everyday life. I figured that if I put a lot of effort into making my lunches, I'd be able to make myself excited to go to school and reach lunchtime. I tried to motivate myself to get through school. I get it now. At first I thought that you were just a strong person who was unbothered by loneliness. Of course, I'm human too, so I did recognize how lonely I was compared to everyone else. To tell you the truth, the reason why I buy my lunches is because I don't have anyone to make them for me. I heard that you only ate small meals because you were dieting. I didn't want anyone to worry or feel bad about me. But are you fine with telling me? I feel safe telling these things to you, Shimizu. Am I allowed to be happy about that? Of course. You're the only person in this school that I feel completely safe with. Really? Thanks. I was beginning to feel closer to Kawhi than ever before. But Kawhi is the most popular girl in our grade. A lot of people felt that it was odd for a nerd like me to be eating lunch with a popular girl like her. Are those two dating? There's no way that the idol of our school is dating that nerd. But aren't they eating matching lunches? Kawhi is scared of becoming a loner again. She doesn't look too concerned, but I don't want people to start seeing her as a weird person. Maybe I shouldn't get any closer to her? Today's lunch is as delicious as always. <laughs> you always look so excited. It was surprising how naturally she'd speak to me, even though I was sure that she had already heard about the rumors. How could I not be excited to be able to sit beside the person I'm in love with? After that, Kawhi gently smiled at me. One day, some dudes from another class came over to talk to me. The rumor's going around that you're dating Kawhi. Is it true? For the past few days, I'd been contemplating what to do with the situation. We're not dating, but I realized something. The problem lies within myself. I was the one who was unable to move, scared of judgment. Because I'm going to ask her out right now. <laughs> you? No way. Kawhi said no to everyone else. Kawhi, can I have a minute with you? There's something important that I need to tell you. This was the first time I went over to talk to her in the classroom. I guess she noticed how tense I was, and she started to seem kind of nervous. Of course. Can we meet the school garden? Even so, she sewed a smile full of warmth and stood up. Wow, he finally came. The time has come. You've probably noticed the rumors going around lately. Yeah, it was getting annoying. I called you here today to end them. Why stares into my eyes waiting for my next words. I used to value my time alone during lunch the most, but I feel differently now. Right now, the time that I value most is the time I get to spend with you, Kawhi. Shimuzu. That's why, even if everyone else says that I'm no match for you, I want to spend all my time with you. 
Kawaii, please be my girlfriend. Thank you. I've always been waiting for those words. Then... Yes, of course. I look forward to it. This is how I became lovers. My situation changed drastically ever since I started dating Kawaii. I have someone important next to me. Just with that, and everything that everyone else says doesn't matter anymore. After some time, everyone got used to us being next to each other and quit bothering me about not being enough. I made some fried chicken today. What? Do you not like fried chicken? No, I love it. Everything you make is delicious, but wouldn't you dislike me eating something oily before we kiss? Well then, want to do it before we eat? Sounds like a good idea. I awkwardly but firmly put my lips on hers. We're still both new to this dating thing, but I somehow felt that everything was going to be fine because this girl's attracted enough to make my cooking addict itself hers. After the first year of high school passed, I started noticing new couples forming all over the place. Say, where should we go after school today? We can go wherever you want. How about your house then? <laughs> oh my god, get a room! I'm Haruki Kojima in my second year of high school. I'm also currently trying to find a girlfriend, but so far there have been zero candidates. Damn it, I want a girlfriend too! Don't cry, it's pathetic! What do I have to do to be popular? Die and reincarnate. You should take a page out of Usami's book. If you smile that brightly to everyone, you'll be popular with the boys and the girls. Who cares about the boys? Uh, but, well, Usami, huh? Yui Byun, can you show me your homework for the next period? I left mine at home. Uh, sure, but remember to bring it next time, okay? Here you are. Yui Pyeon, aka Yui Usami, is my classmate and holds the title of the school's Madonna. She always has a bright smile for everyone. Not only is she beautiful, but she also has a great personality, making her popular with the boys and girls in my school. She's way out of my league, but I did harbor a secret desire to go out with her. Usami's something else. She's not a good role model because I'll never reach her level no matter how hard I try. Just be honest and admit that you think she's pretty. She's so pretty! Say it to her, not to me. No way, it's just going up to her and blurting out you're so pretty? Who are you talking about? Who's pretty? Whoa, who saw me? He's actually talking about you. Hey, 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 stop! Huh? Me? Don't listen to him, Usami. We were just saying how you looked pretty worked up right now, yeah. I wasn't, though. <sighs> That's the best you could do. Oh, I see. You mean this, right? <sighs> uh, what are you doing? This is what you mean by worked up, right? Um, I guess? To think the school's idol doesn't know the difference between worked up and work out. By the way, why are you here? Did you need something from this guy? Huh? From me? Oh, that. I don't really need anything. I just got worried because Kojima looked a little gloomy. Is she an angel? You heard her. Good for you, Oshima. It's Kojima! Even in this, her loveliness shines through. It's easy to understand why she still doesn't have a boyfriend. She's such an angel that anyone who approaches her with those intentions ends up cleansed of their unpure thoughts. Aren't you happy to have Usami worrying about you? <sighs> I feel as pure as a newborn babe. You know I was joking about the whole reincarnation thing, right? Anyway, uh, if you really want a girlfriend that much, I have someone I can introduce you to. Uh, I think I'll pass. Speaking seriously, when it comes to my first girlfriend, I'm waiting for some kind of a fateful encounter to happen. And this is why you're still single. Hmm, for example, turning a corner and crashing into someone, and then I hear a girl ask me, are you okay? That kind of thing, you know? The real question is, is your head okay? That's not something that happens in real life. Right, I guess I'll take that introduction after all. So what was the point of everything you just said? Well, the introduction isn't a problem. <laughs> During lunch break the next day... <laughs> While I was walking along the corridor, I crashed into a girl, just like the scenario of the fated encounter in my head! On top of that, the one who I crashed into was... Oh, Are you okay? I'm fine. Wait, Usami? 
Kojima! <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't watching where I was going. Uh, no, it's okay. More importantly, um, it's showing. What's showing? Ah! You saw it! You definitely saw it, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I did catch a flash of bright white, yeah. Uh, this is where you say, no, I saw nothing! I don't want to lie, I'm sorry. Jeez! <laughs> but I guess you're the honest type, huh? Well, that's one of my only good points, so... It was a bit embarrassing, but I think that's a fantastic quality to have. I love her! I may be an honest person, but I don't have the courage to tell her my feelings, frankly. A few days after that, it suddenly started raining in the afternoon. Huh? You're not going home, Usami? Um, I actually forgot my umbrella. I see. I didn't bring mine either. Looks like we have no choice but to wait. I don't have an umbrella, but here. Huh? A raincoat? I ride a bike to school, so I always have this on me. But... Just take it. Uh, why a frog? My mom chose it. Uh, I see. Do I look weird? I mean, it suits you way better than it suits me. Yui Pion frog version looks just as adorable. Um, thank you, Kojima! Sure, I'll see you tomorrow then. It's not as if the Madonna of our school will ever fall from me, but this way it'll get out that I'm actually a kind and lovely person. I can already see that shoe rack stuffed full to bursting with love letters in my future. The next day, I caught a cold while I was lying in bed at home. <laughs> It slipped my mind that I actually fall sick pretty easily. The gossip about my wonderful personality should be spreading right now. It's too bad I'm not there to hear it. Huh? He texted me? The fact that you read this already means that you haven't killed over yet. You sure you want to pass up this chance at reincarnation? Yeah, right. About the introduction thing, when I told the girl all about you, she said that you're not her type at all. What exactly did you tell her, you dick? I was feeling so sick that it made my mood even worse. My only consolation was that thanks to the raincoat incident yesterday, the rumors should be circulating in the classroom by now. The school might assign everyone to write one love letter to me each, maybe, probably. For now, let's just shelf mission make a girlfriend until tomorrow and go to sleep. After I had fallen deeply asleep... <laughs> You're sleeping well, Haruki. I'll take responsibility for nursing you back to health. <laughs> <laughs> About an hour ago. Kojima's sick today? Can someone pass him this worksheet? I can! I'll bring it over to his house for him. Uh, that was fast. I'll leave it to you then, Usami. No problem. Yui Pyeon, you pushed pretty hard for that. What's going on? That's... I, I mean... You get it, right? Huh? Could it be? The one you like is... Ooh, yeah! Ooh! Breaking news! Yui Pyeon has a crush on someone! D wait a minute! It's embarrassing if you say it so loudly! <laughs> Just kidding. Please spread this rumor to everyone. She's setting a trap for him and he doesn't even know it. This is getting interesting. Right, let's text him since I'm kind of annoyed about it. And the fact that you haven't read this already means that you haven't killed over yet. <sighs> I've already laid the groundwork for our future relationship. So everything's going to be perfect from now on, Haruki. I'll become your girlfriend and love you to the very marrow of your bones. <sighs> But such a defenseless Haruki is simply too cute to be true. This room is filled with your unique mask, and I love that too. For now, I'll settle for a kiss. Right. Don't mind if I do. Uh-huh. What do you want, Usami? Huh? Rather, why are you in my room? A sudden headbutt right when I wake up? 
What's with this situation? What are you doing? Uh, I, I was trying to take your temperature with my forehead. By cracking my skull open? I would have never even dreamed that the school's idol would be in my room, but the throbbing pain let me know that this was really happening. After a little while... I see, so you came over to pass me the worksheet. Uh, thanks, Usami. N not at all. In the first place, it was my fault you fell sick. No, it was just the result of me trying to act all tough. Don't worry about it. But you really helped me out yesterday. So, I'll be responsible and take care of you until you recover, okay? But if you do that, won't you end up catching my cold? It's fine. I already received permission from your mother, too. Uh, but I mean, if I let you do that, I'll fall in love with you for real. Oh, right. There's apparently a folk remedy saying that the cure for a cold is a kiss. Obviously, that's just a myth. Why would we need doctors if colds could be cured with kisses? In a world like that, doctors would give out kisses instead of medicine. Sounds like my dream world. I want a gorgeous female doctor taking care of me. Uh, no, wait, I'd rather become a doctor myself. Although I'll be picky with my patients. So, here I come. Pucked her up. Is it okay to be swept along in her fantasy? Now what am I talking about? Of course it is! It's just a part of my treatment. There shouldn't be a problem if both of us agreed to it. At the very least, it'll help me to get rid of my chills. Yeah, don't be a coward and go for it, Haruki Kojima! Haruki, how are you doing? Risa! <laughs> um, give me a moment. I gotta sort this all out in my head. Wait. This means my big bro was just shamelessly doing the dirty with a girl while he's sick? That's not it. I can explain. And on top of everything, it's with the school's famous Yui Pyeon? Yui Pyeon? I don't even know you that well. This girl who just got all huffy is my childhood friend Risa Kamenashi. She's my next door neighbor one year younger than me and she also attends the same high school as me. Our families get along well, and she's occasionally coming over to eat dinner with us. She's like a little sister to me, and she sometimes calls me her big brother, too. As far as looks go, she's a real beauty, but for some reason, she always has horrible timing. Explain yourself, Usami! What were you doing to my big brother, you rabbit burglar? Uh, who are you calling rabbit burglar? Meanie. <laughs> Don't change the topic. You were trying to kiss him, weren't you? Oh, it was just part of his treatment. What kind of treatment is that? Anyway, I'll take care of Haruki so you can leave now. Huh? I think I'm more qualified to do it, though. Whatever you were doing just then, I can do it, too. Somehow it just turned into a cat fight. All right, I should just close my eyes and sleep. After a while... I managed to force back that rabbit burglar for now. Seriously, I can't let my guard down for a single second. Uh, I'm impressed you can fall asleep in this kind of situation. Uh, your sleeping face is so cute. I have to mark you so that rabbit burglar doesn't get any more ideas. In other words, I'm going to kiss you now. That's it! I'll take the chance to kiss you while you're asleep. Okay. Here I come! Risa, what are you doing? Uh, huh? Huh? Why are you awake? I mean, you didn't think that I could actually sleep with all that noise, right? I was just pretending. So, what were you just trying to do? N n nothing Take that! Ow! Another headbutt?! Is this the end thing right now?! N what are you doing?! It was just instinct. You felt an instinctual need to crack my skull open? I'm probably the only guy who can say that he's been headbutted by two beautiful girls, but I don't know if that's really something to be happy about. After lecturing on Risa on how she shouldn't try to break someone's head open on a whim... Uh, I'm sorry, Haruki. It's fine if you get it. Uh, by the way, you said that you came over to take care of me, right? Yeah, I overheard that you didn't go to school because you caught a cold. I see, thanks. But Haruki, what's your relationship with that rabbit burglar? Y you mean Usami? She's my classmate. 
But it looks to me like you two have an inappropriate relationship. I think unusual is a more accurate description. Why are you angry anyway? Oh, Haruki, you thick-headed moron! Takes one to know one! Don't talk back to me! This is exactly why I called you thick-headed! I'm just selectively sensitive, okay? What does that even mean? I've liked you for a really long time. That's why I didn't want you to be stolen away by that rabid burglar. The truth is, just now, I was trying to give you a kiss. Maybe it would have been better if I just stayed quiet and pretended to be asleep. Risa, you are a really important person to me, but I'm sorry. I only ever saw you as a little sister. I know, but I still want to go out with you. Uh, no, but... Please, Haruki, choose me! Mm. You never know. Maybe you'll change your mind if you try kissing me once. We can do, um, other stuff too. Right, let's try it out. I mean, I'm only doing this for her. I absolutely have no ulterior motives. This is just purely a trial to see if we would work. What are you doing right now, Kojima? How long have you been here? Didn't you go home? I thought something like this might happen, so I only pretended to leave. Stop interrupting us, you rabbit burglar! I'll deal with you later, Kojima. Risa? Wh what? Don't you think you're going too far? You're just the pot calling the kettle black! Stop! Don't argue over me! Um, could it be that you like me too, Sami? You know? Uh, yeah, though I really wish I didn't right now. <sighs> well, I guess I have no choice now that I've been found out. Uh, but why me? I'm actually your friend from childhood too, Kojima. I, I mean, Haruki. Uh, but I don't remember you at all. You promised to marry me while we were in kindergarten. Ah, um, I, uh, yeah, I'm afraid I have no memory of it. Haruki, she's clearly making this up to trick you. Well, now that she mentioned it, there was a girl in kindergarten that really liked me. No! I took so long to make that! Too bad. <laughs> Whose memories are these? Uh, for now, let's skip a bit further ahead. I broke it, sorry. So, will you take responsibility and marry me? Mary? Okay, I guess. <laughs> Yay! I wonder what's Mary. Maybe I can ask Mom to buy it. So that means you already promised to marry me way back in kindergarten! Whoa. Haruki, you're the worst. I may have been a different kind of guy back then, but now's a different matter. But then why haven't I met her before now? Her parents transferred her to a different school because of their jobs, and you started kindergarten right after that. It's true that she can be considered my childhood friend as well, although I completely forgot about it until now. So you see, Risa, I proposed to him first. What is this? First come, first served? I've carefully nurtured our mutual love for the ten years that we've been together. Ugh, you cheater! Huh? What on earth is happening right now? Haruki, you promised you'd marry me, right? Huh? When? Hey, Haruki! Get married with me! Huh? I plan to have ten girlfriends in the future, though. Are you okay with that? No! You can only have me! Uh, sure, whatever. I'll marry you. See? You promised me! Haruki, you really are the worst. That's why I said that no matter what I was like back then, I am a completely different person now. So, what are you going to do? Yeah, who do you choose? Me or Usami? Of course you'll choose me. Right, Haruki? <sighs> no matter which way I look, they're both so cute! Okay, focus. There's no way I can choose between the two of them. It's just not possible. In that case, I choose both of you. Huh? I can't choose, so the only thing I can do is to make both of you happy. Even if that sounds like something a jerk would say, I have no other option. So this is what I declared to them. 
The next day, I recovered from my cold and went back to school. But... So that was what happened yesterday. I never really liked you before, but now, like, words cannot describe the unbridled hatred I have for you now, bro. But you're still my friend? Well, as far as I can see, there's no harm in it for me. So, what are you planning to do? I have no choice but to make the best of the situation. Huh? Wait, what are those, reference books? Yeah, I gotta work hard on my end if I seriously want to make both of them happy. Well, you'll get no help from me, but sure, do your best. Ever since then, I put all my effort into studying. The me who used to have no dreams or goals other than getting a girlfriend was no more. I became one of the top performers in the next examination we had. I'll get into a good university, and then I'll get a high-paying job, and then I'll show them that I can definitely make both of them happy. That's how I'm gonna take responsibility! Oh, right, and as for Usami and Risa, it seems like they've kind of accepted the situation for what it is. You said that you were going to make the both of us happy. Are you really okay with that? Well, this is how I'm choosing to go about it. I guess you've always been the type to say something out loud, only if you were absolutely serious about it. It's my fault in the first place for forgetting both of your proposals, after all. And I'm sorry for treating your proposals so lightly. I'll do my best to take care of both of you from now on. I'll make you both the happiest women in the world. <laughs> oh, but if you want to dump this indecisive jerk and look for someone else, I won't mind at all. No way! I want to be with Haruki forever! Me too! I'll never leave Haruki! I'm still in the middle of my studying, you know! Even if I manage to keep my promise to them, I'm well aware that this will be a thorny path. In a way, being too popular comes with its own set of problems. Phew. I guess this is it. It's a lot cleaner and more new than I expected. My name's Naoto Kobayagawa, and this summer break, I decided to go to a villa by myself that was deep in the mountains. This is because I was actually tired of people. I told my mom that I wanted to be alone, and she spoke to her friend, who owned this villa, and was willing to lend it to me for the summer. As a result... We've been waiting for you now, too! I finished preparing you and I's love nest! It's ready! I can't believe we got to spend a week with you! I'm so excited! Ah! I've been trapped! Just as I thought I was finally going to be alone, there were three migraines waiting for me in the house. Me, Naoto Kobayagawa! Currently worried more than I've ever been in my life. No. Let's have dinner together. Hey, Mayu. It's my turn to eat today with Nao, too. But now you want to eat with me, Nana, right? These three girls were my childhood friends. I've known them since I was little. In other words, they were the source of my migraine. Now let's shoot it really lovey-dovey for the live stream. This one's Mayu Hoshino. She's still in high school, but she's a YouTuber with 700,000 followers and is known as Machin. Unfortunately for me, she <laughs> likes me. Now too, today I tried hand making it, so, um, if you'd like, here. This is Riko Mizuhara. She's currently a model and an actress. She's calm and mature and usually plays it cool. And unfortunately for me, she <laughs> likes me too. Now, you want to sit next to me and eat it, <laughs> isn't that right? And lastly, this is Nana Kiyokawa. She's a member of the idol group Kanons, and is one of the most popular active idols right now. And unfortunately, you guessed it, she likes me too. Popular YouTuber, popular actress, popular idol. Anybody else in the world would kill to be in my shoes, but these three were my childhood friends, and I was just a normal average <sighs> loser. But for whatever reason, these three were always aggressively pursuing me. We are all just childhood friends, is the excuse that I used to calm down their potential fire. But recently, it's gotten to the point where I wouldn't be surprised if something were to combust. If anyone were to find out that they were having a relationship, their career would go down in flames. For what it's worth, the entertainment agency that the three of them are signed to is owned and operated by my mom. And that mother of mine has told me that if any one of them were to cause a fire by going public about any of this, that I would have to take responsibility and marry them. How idiotic! And if any of them were to find out about that, I had no doubt that they would set the biggest fire to the flame immediately. Before the summer holiday had even started, I had rejected each one of them over and over and over again. You may think that I was rejecting them out of my own interest, 
but I know that each of them has a future ahead of them. The only thing that I could do for them was to prevent an uproar from happening. And on top of that, I was antisocial. And I was so tired of people that I wanted to find some peace and quiet both physically and emotionally. So I escaped to a villa deep in the mountains, but... Now, let's sleep together tonight! Wait a minute. Now two is going to be with me tonight, and... <sighs> no! I'm the only one allowed to rub on now! The flames were well alive! And along with it, burned my peace and solitude. Hold on. Why are the three of you here? How did you know I was going to be here? Your, Your mom, mom told us. us. Damn it, mother! There was only one bus per week, so I wouldn't be able to get out of here for at least seven days. She may be a business owner, but I should be charging her for arson! Thanks to my mom, I was cornered into the situation. Also, I already rejected all of you, didn't I? Yeah, that's why... We want you to rethink it one more time. You're all that we can think about now, too. Now? Your mom told us the reason why you rejected all of us was because you didn't want our careers to go up in flames. Damn mother! Even though I told her not to say anything! So, if that's the case, let's start the fire and burn together! Yeah, <laughs> burn it all. Hot and heavy. <sighs> Within this week, you can choose who you're going to burn with. I mean, who you're going to go out with. Oh, there's nothing I can do. There's no reasoning with these three! Spending three weeks alone with these three girls, and yet I feel nothing! Why is that? Oh, but I don't have any cell phone data coverage out here. I guess I can't live stream. Good. Then I can prevent any incidents from being broadcast in real time. But it looks like the phone lines are connected at least. So I can at least call for help in case of an emergency. The facilities are well prepared here. In the basement pantry, there's a lot of canned food stocked up. And there was even a training room. If it comes down to it, I guess I can take cover in the food pantry downstairs. No, you're awfully quiet. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Deep in the middle of the mountains, a villa with no cell phone data coverage, and the bus is a week from now. I have to be prepared for whatever they throw at me. Anyway, I think it's time for us to decide who's going to make dinner tonight. Let's decide with the dodgeball tournament. Well, this reeks of something she would use for her YouTube channel. The rules are simple. We're going to split into pairs, and the losing pair has to make dinner. But then it won't be a tournament. It'll just end in one <laughs> game, won't it? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I'm one step ahead. I can barely breathe through the suspicious air, but I guess I can hear her out. So we ended up starting a dodgeball tournament. My partner was Mayu, whose idea it was to do with this in the first place, but... Ah! Ah! Now, Tu! You're throwing that way too hard! <sighs> All right, Now, Tu! Hit Rico in the arm! <laughs> so that's five points for Now, Tu! What the heck are these rules?! The game was split into a first half and second half, both with a time limit of five minutes. Apparently, the rule was to hit the other team as many times as possible. It was a ruthless game. If you hit the upper body above the waist, it would be 5 points. Anywhere below the waist would be 10 points. No! No! You d definitely just aimed for me, didn't you? Alright! That hit Nana in the back of her lower body! So now Tu gets 20 points! On top of that, depending on specific parts of the body, you could get more points. They were terribly mean rules. At the end of the first half, Mayu and I had 250 points with Rico and Nana following close behind at 240. It was a neck-and-neck -neck battle. By the way, I hadn't been hit once, so all 240 points had been from balls to Mayu. Hey, you're trying to get hit on purpose, aren't you? What? What are you talking about? It's written all over your face. In any case, we got back into the second half. Ah! He caught it again? Now he's protecting me! <laughs> It was obvious that Mayu was purposely trying to lose so that she could make dinner together with me. I shouldn't have to put up with this childishness. But at the same time, I didn't want to lose and let her have her way. That's why I protected her at all costs during the game. As a result, our team won the game, but... All right now, let's go clean the shower room together. Shoot! Whether we win or lose, we're stuck as a pair. So either way, I'm left alone with her! The moment we split into pairs, I didn't realize that this was going to be the result, so I tried hard for nothing! My efforts were in vain! How did I end up like this? Thanks for protecting me earlier. 
Compared to those two, I'm really not athletic. So he really saved me. Are you sure you weren't purposely trying to get hit? For the laughs? Or with any other motives? I was trying to hide how unathletic I am, so I was running around like I was joking. I'm sorry, but I thought that you would save me and you did, so thank you now. You know, I can't wait any longer. What? Wait for what? I like you too much and I'm sorry I'm such a needy girl. I won't turn the cameras on so when we're cleaning the bathtub... Hey, you two. Dinner is ready. Wait, Mayu, why are your cheeks so rosy? Uh, well, th that's because now and I were... <laughs> of course, nothing happened between me and Mayu. This is not a lie to prevent a fire, but this is the truth. Yes, the next day, I was by myself in the food pantry. It wasn't necessarily to get away from the girls, but simply because I was put in charge of dinner. Hmm, the extra soy sauce. Ah, there it is. It was slightly dark, and there was a cold air down there. So I was trying to be in and out when... Hey, now two, do you have a minute? Rico? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. A alone. I looked behind me, and Rico was standing there at the entrance to the pantry. What did she want from me? What do you think of me lately? Um, aren't you on TV all the time these days? I heard you booked a major movie too, right? Well, yeah, but I have one problem that's been worrying me. Problem? What kind of problem is it? In the next drama series that I'm filming, there is a kissing scene. Kiss? Well, I guess, yeah. You are an actress after all. You're bound to have scenes like that. I... I... I've never kissed anyone before, and I want my first kiss to be with someone that I like. Well, I understand how you might feel, but you're just pretending to kiss, right? That's how that works? It may be acting, but I don't want it to be that forced either. That's why... Please... I wanted to ask you... Will you kiss me now, too? What? I don't know if that's a good idea. I've already decided that my first kiss would be you now, too. No, but still... You might as well do it with a handsome actor. I only see you now, too. And well, whether we kissed or not, I'll leave it up to your imagination. <laughs> what a strange feeling. I feel like there are clouds in my head. Is... is that so? Hey, do you want to do it again? Um, no. We should probably go back upstairs soon. However, the door to the food pantry wouldn't open. It was an old building, so even with both of our full body weight on it, it didn't budge! Well, this isn't good. I guess we just have to wait for one of the two of them to notice. And I guess this is my chance. Huh? What did you just say? Hey, now two. Don't you want to continue where we left off? And find out what happens next? You said what? <sighs> you really flipped a switch inside of me just now. I don't know what to do. I can't hold it anymore. Help me now too. No, Rico! We're here to save you! Wait, Rico, why are your cheeks so rosy? That... Uh, that is a secret. Of course, nothing else happened with Rico. I was in the clear zone. This is truly not a lie to withhold the flames. Seriously, I mean it! Please, believe me! And then the next day, day three, in order to try and organize my thoughts, I decided to go break a sweat in the training room. Maybe if I get a good workout in and take a nice shower, I'll be able to have a fresh mind. But sheesh, Mayu and Rico? Both of them? No, I shouldn't be thinking about it right now. Just as I was about to start exercising. Oh, come on. If you're going to use the training room, you could have invited me. Nana! We're going to work out, right? I have to do that too. So we can do it together. Uh, sure. So I started exercising alone with Nana. Hey now, I'm going to cut straight to the point, but did anything happen with Mayu and Rico? Um, no. Interesting. You sound a little suspicious, but... Oh, well, fine. This is one of the things I like about Nana. She doesn't drag things on. But it's not fair leaving me out like that. What are you talking about? There's no use in trying to hide it. I can see it all over your faces. No, no, no. There's nothing to be leaving you out of, you know? And then... I'm going to confirm. What? Hey, Nana! It's not fair that those two got to... But you're the innocent type of idol, right? Well then, uh, let's just say I'm switching over to being a not-so-innocent idol. I just want you to know that I'm serious too. Otherwise, 
I'm bad at sports, so I don't need it. Stop complaining. You have to do it. Uh oh? Is it... Is it just me or does Nana have rosy cheeks? <laughs> I wonder what it could be about. Of course, nothing happened with Nana either. We just exercised, I swear. I'm not lying to keep the house from burning down. It's the truth. That night, I was tossing and turning in bed with my mind a mess. All three of them were proactive, but they were also all amazing in their own way. Would I be able to turn down all three of them? No, it's not whether I can or not. I have to reject them all. With these thoughts circling my mind, I didn't get much sleep that night. I woke up to the fourth day and decided to make my heart a monster. No, I heard there is a little mountain cottage not far from this villa. Interesting. Do you want to go see it with me a little bit? Just a little bit? Uh, when I made my heart a monster. Now too, it looks like the toilet isn't running properly. Oh, is that so? Uh, do you want to fix it with me? We can do it while the other two are making lunch. Uh, I need to make it a monster. I want to be heartless, but... Now, there is a beautiful river flowing nearby. Do you want to go for a swim with me? Swimming? Oh, but oh, I forgot my swimsuit. Well, I guess we don't need it. In conclusion, I wasn't able to become a monster. Not at all. I was powerless. Throughout the fifth day and the sixth day, at any opportunity, the girls would come to flirt with me. Their reasoning was that if nobody were to find out about the relationship, then nobody's career would go up in flames. But we live in a world with no privacy. And these things always get found out. And that's why there's always an uproar. And all I could think about was the risk. Why do I have a weird feeling that my mom's words were more of a premonition than they were a warning? I only had one day left though. So as long as I could get through the last day, then maybe everything would be okay. Just one more day. I got this! I told myself to stay strong. And that night, I was headed towards the toilet when I walked past the living room and... Hmm? That's weird. The living room light is on. Is someone awake? What? Really? So you too, Rico? And Nana? So that means... You too then, Mayu. <laughs> I had a feeling, but I guess I was right. Wait a second. That's what they're talking about? Sheesh, now too. We can't blame him though, can we? Since we all like him and we've all been going after him? Yeah, exactly. And it wouldn't be fair for one of us to hog him. Well, that might be true, but... Because it's now too, he might not be able to choose one of us, so he might reject all of us. Then why don't we make it so that he doesn't have to choose just one? What do you mean? Maybe now can't choose, because we're always pressuring him to choose just one of us. And that's why he can't decide. Yeah, that's a good point. Plus, if people found out about this, any of our careers would go up in flames. We would have to retire from the entertainment world. And that would be hard, too. Yeah, exactly. I was just starting to get a lot of good offers. But that means you wouldn't be able to make now to your boyfriend, you know? Exactly. I don't want any of your careers to burn. And I don't want any of you to have to retire. In that case, why don't we all just stay childhood friends? Nana, I knew she was smart. And then the three of us can share them all together. Wait, whoa, no, I take that back. That's true. It's actually a really good idea. We're not dating. We're just childhood friends, but in the shadows, we... <sighs> then maybe he wouldn't mind being part of my live streams too. We can live stream as a couple, but I can say that we're not dating because <laughs> we're childhood friends. They're all idiots. They're all planning to be lovey-dovey with me without being in a relationship and as childhood friends. They think that they can get away with it without an uproar if they just claim we're childhood friends. But if we're being lovey-dovey in the shadows, they're going to find out eventually anyway. I have to escape. It's my only option. Did anybody else hear that? Oh, was somebody just eavesdropping on our conversation? Well... We just reached a conclusion, so maybe it was perfect timing. Ah! I'm going to be eaten alive! And finally, the morning of the seventh day. <sighs> I feel so much better. Me too. What a beautiful morning it is today. Now too, what's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about me. <laughs> uh...
don't worry. I deleted all of the videos from this week. Nothing happened between us, right? Yep, and that's that. So thank you for a great week now. In the end, I wasn't able to choose just one out of the three of them. They were all my precious childhood friends, and they each had amazing qualities that were all attractive. There was no way that I could choose, but well, on the bus ride home, I heard this. You know, to tell you the truth, the reason why I became a YouTuber was to thank you now. Really? I was an antisocial overthinker, but you were the one that told me that maybe if I spoke to people through a screen, then I could do it. I see. I also became an actress thanks to you now, too. I was always cold and couldn't open up to people. But you were the one that told me that if I smiled a little bit more, that I could really be popular. Oh yeah, I do remember saying that. I wasn't necessarily trying to be popular, but I decided that I would smile more for you. Me too. It's all because you told me that I was good at dancing now. No, no, I was just telling the truth at that time. But it made me so happy. And thanks to you, now I'm an idol and still going. Nana, Rico, Mayu. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know. I'm going to continue to be a YouTuber from now on, okay? I'm going to work hard so that I can walk down the red carpet with you someday now, too. And I'm going to keep working as hard as an idol, so that you compliment me even more now. The three of them were all smiling beautifully around me, even while knowing that if anybody found out about this, their careers would go up in flames after that week. Hi, everyone! Today I'm going to introduce you to my very, very important childhood friend! Yay! Y yay What's wrong now? Why do you look so pale? Miss Riku Mizuhara! Who is that man? Huh? He's just my childhood friend. Hello. Nice to meet you. Just a childhood friend here. Then why are you linking arms so closely? Because we're very close. Is there a problem? Today I have a very important person in the audience. It's my childhood friend that I love very, very much. Please give it up for now! Don't announce me at an event! And well, they haven't exactly been hiding me. Lovey-dovey in the shadows. It makes me so anxious that someone is going to catch on soon. However, because I was such a loser, none of their fans seemed to care or be jealous at all. That loser guy, her boyfriend? Impossible, ha ha! They would just brush it off. I never would have thought that it would pay off to be such a loser and their childhood friend. The three of them never let up, and they've just kept pursuing me more and more each day. The four of us continued on like this, walking side by side with a potential forest fire. Tokiwa, report to my office immediately. Uh, okay. What'd you do this time, Tokiwa? I don't know. <laughs> okay, as a new employee of this company, there is something that I'm currently deeply worried and concerned about, and that is... I couldn't wait until we knocked off. I'm sorry, Kosuke. President, what if someone comes in? Pretty please, just for a little bit. In this way, I'm placed under a huge amount of stress by my company's gorgeous president every day. As for how things turned out like this in the first place... I, Kosuke Tokiwa, had been working in this company for about half a year when everything changed for me. It's about time for the meeting, Tokiwa. Okay, I'll head over as soon as I finish this. Well, as long as you don't miss too much of it. Thank you for your concern. The company I initially interviewed for was a major publishing company called the Yuki Group. Right now, I'm working at Canon Corporations, one of its subsidiary companies. All things considered, I'm happy with where I'm at. I continued to work hard in the hopes of someday having the chance to transfer to its parent company, the Yuki Group. There's just one small problem with this company. Oh, you're Tokiwa, right? Ah, hello, President. The meeting's just started, so everyone's already in the conference room. I'm about to head over as well. I don't mind if you take your time. Uh, uh, all right. She is Nanami Kawakita, the president of the company I'm working at. As the daughter of the president of Yuki Group, she took on the job last year at the young age of 26. She's apparently a highly capable person. I finished the work I have on hand, so I'm free to join them now. I see. In that case, tell them that I'll let them handle it. You're not coming, president? I don't have a habit of micromanaging my staff. Just give me a summarized report in my office after the meeting. 
Understood. If you'll excuse me, then. I wonder if this is what all company presidents are like. She's definitely the sophisticated type, and also just plain beautiful. But she kind of comes off as cold and lacking motivation. To me, it looks like she doesn't really like her job. To be honest, she isn't great when it comes to taking initiative. My seniors in the company also told me that she's just an unmotivated person. After the meeting, I went with my senior to her office to make our reports, but... So the next step to take is... Okay, got it. I'll leave that up to you as always. Uh, huh? I I'm glad for the opportunity, but... So you take care of the rest then. Instead of asking me about every little thing, go ahead and make the decisions in the field by yourself. I'll just put your signature on what you give me. During these six months, I've seen what her working style is like, but this still feels a bit too flippant. All the employees in this company, including my senior, are highly efficient and motivated people. That's why I felt a difference in level of enthusiasm between the president and her employees. But still, I didn't feel driven to take on this project. Um, president, may I ask you a question? What is it? You don't seem to have looked through the documents at all. Did you really understand the entire situation from the explanation we just gave you? Don't talk you are! Because I know that things will work out even if I don't read them. The president's only job is to sign the paperwork. It's fine as long as I take full responsibility if anything ends up going wrong. But still... Tokiwa, drop it! I'm sorry, president, if you'll excuse us. I get that you don't want to do this job at all. Huh? I know that we have vastly different attitudes towards our jobs, but if you could at least look through these documents, my senior stayed up the whole night just to consolidate these plans. Stop, Tokiwa! To casually say that everything will work out even if you don't read them just honestly leaves a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> I apologize, President. We'll be leaving now. After that, I was pulled out of her office by my senior, but the last thing I saw was the president's face flushed red with anger. I'm sorry, I kind of lost my head in there. It's okay. More importantly, thank you, Tokiwa, for standing up for me in there. Somehow, I just couldn't look past her actions. Well, she probably has stuff she's struggling with, too. Why don't we have a drink tonight and forget all about this? Sounds great, let's go. At this point, I still didn't know that I would soon be pulled into the most ridiculous situation of my life. The next day, as soon as I arrived at the office, the president came over to my desk. Tokiwa, come to my office. Uh, uh, yes, president? This has to be about yesterday. Maybe I'm getting fired? With my anxiety rising higher and higher, I entered her office. W what happened yesterday when you told me off? Uh, uh, yes? I, I gave a lot of thought to what you said after you left. Like you said, I do think that I was in the wrong for not looking through the documents you gave me. Huh? She's agreeing with me? You're not angry? On the contrary, I reflected deeply on my past actions. It seems like I've been treating my employees with great disrespect until now. Thank you for opening my eyes, Tokiwa. You're welcome. I also regret that I got too fired up in the heat of the moment. So, is it safe to say that we've settled our differences? Uh, uh, sure. Uh, that is, President, you're too close. I also discovered that you're a strong-willed person who's very considerate of your seniors. Uh, thank you for thinking so highly of me. If you could just move a little bit further away now... Getting scolded by you like that? I found myself liking you more and more. Um, you mean you like my work? I mean I like you. You like me? Scratch that. I love you. I want you to marry me. President, calm down please. I'm the type to get fired up at the drop of a hat too. You called this getting fired up? Unbelievably, the president is apparently the type of person that finds it thrilling to be scolded. Just kidding. Did your heart skip a beat? That's just a normal reaction. Sorry about that. I'll treat you to lunch today as an apology. Uh-huh. Are you sure? Wait for me at the front at 12.30pm. Got it? 
Oh, thank God, so it was just a joke. She gave me quite the scare there, but at least it seemed like I got away with the incident yesterday. Apparently, it looks like I'm having lunch with her. Uh huh? Uh, wait, I'm having lunch with the president? I'm just a lowly employee, though. Is that okay? I felt strangely uneasy, but there was actually another problem occurring at the same time. Uh, my cute little sister has been excitedly doing her makeup all morning. There has to be something going on. My name is Ichiga Kawakita. I'm one of the high-level executives in Yuki Group, and I'm older than Nanami Kawakita by two years. Because my little sister was acting weird, I headed over to our subsidiary company, Canon Corporation, on the pretense of doing a <clears throat> workplace inspection. Nanami and... Huh? Who's that guy? Say, can I call you Kosuke when it's just the two of us? I guess I don't mind. You can call me Nanami too, then. Huh? I can't do that! My little sister, she's blushing? What I saw shocked me to the core. Acting cute towards that insipid-looking man is utterly unbefitting of a member of the Kawakita family. Who does that guy think he is? Who is he to link arms with my sweet, adorable Nanami? There's no doubt she's being tricked by him. Despite how she looks, Nanami has no resistance to men, and she hasn't even dated anyone before. In short, she's a dumbo when it comes to the opposite sex. She must have fell headfirst into his ploy. I'll have to investigate him thoroughly. Somehow I feel like I'm being watched, and what's with this strange sense of impending doom? After that, to the surprise of all my colleagues, the president started to get her jobs done quickly and more efficiently. The foundational basis for the observational data in here isn't strong enough. Provide some supplementary material with it so our business partners don't find fault with it. Understood. I'll do that right away. Tokiwa, can you do the comparative analysis of our products and that of our competitors? Rather just focusing on the major players, include as many of the small and medium-sized enterprises as you can, and then consolidate all of the price and product quality data into a graph for me. Understood. Please leave it to me. So, she really does know how to do the job. The instructions she gives are super precise, too. She actually seems kind of cool. But then, why did she only just start taking the job seriously now? She invited me to dinner today, so maybe I'll try asking her. It's been a week since our president started putting her all into her work. She's invited me out to lunch quite often, but it'll be my first time having dinner with her. I'm nervous, but also slightly looking forward to it. Excuse me, President, this might be the only chance I'll get, so can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? Why did you refuse to do the job properly until recently? Over the week, it was apparent to me that you're actually a really skillful and diligent person. Oh, that... I have a sister that's two years older than me. Could you be talking about... Uh, from Yuki Group? Exactly. She's Ichika Kawakita. She's one of the high-level executives over there, and I heard from my senior that she's a very accomplished person. She's also the executive assistant to the president of Yuki Group. To be honest, I've always wanted to work at Yuki. But my father and older sister ordered me to take on the role of president at this subsidiary company. They said it was because this company was in dire straits. That was how you ended up here? Yep. Well, if they were telling the truth, I could have accepted it. But that wasn't at all what I saw when I arrived. The employees are all capable and hardworking people, and the company was hardly on the verge of going under. I realized I'd been tricked. Between my sister and me, my father had chosen my sister to inherit Yuki Group. To prevent factions forming around each sister and the potential conflicts that could come out of that, huh? The company would do well, even if the president wasn't me. When I had that thought, somehow, any inclination to do my work well just... disappeared. But your harsh words were a wake-up call, Kosuke. I feel like I've really done a disservice to my employees with my prior way of thinking. I'm the president, after all. I shouldn't be mixing my job with my personal emotions. I mean, the company is a corporate body, and it's living and breathing in its own way as well. I think it's only natural to attach your emotions to your work. Huh? 
But if everyone in the company faces the same direction and shares the same emotions while doing our work, wouldn't all of us be able to accomplish even more amazing things? Everyone facing the same direction and sharing the same emotions, huh? Yes! I really want to do that too. Kosuke, can I ask for your help in getting there? Of course! Like the president, my initial goal was to get a job at Yuki Group 2, so I kind of felt a sense of solidarity with her. I'm just gonna do my best under the president's leadership. Just as I was thinking that. Tokiwa, there's a visitor asking for you. Huh? Who? Well, how do I put it? Kosuke Tokiwa, it's nice to meet you. I'm Ichiga Kawakita from Yuki Group. It's nice to meet you too. This is the president's older sister? It's my first time seeing her, but she's so intimidating. I won't beat around the bush. How do you feel about transferring to my company? Uh, huh? You mean the Yuki Group? I've looked into your working attitude and your contributions towards the company. Despite being a newcomer, you're an exceptional employee that always goes above and beyond to give better results than expected. Uh, not at all. I had a lot of help from my seniors. I've come here today to headhunt you. You originally applied for Yuki Group, didn't you? You won't say no to such an opportunity, right? <laughs> There's no way an ambitious person like him could let this go. His scheme to use Nanami to get a job at Yuki was obvious from the beginning. Actually, I plan to stay at Canon for the foreseeable future. What? I think working under your sister, I mean President Kawakita, is the best thing for me right now. You're just going to let this once-in-a-lifetime chance go to waste? I mean, I did make a promise to my president that I would help her out to the best of my ability. <laughs> he's pretty shrewd for such a young man. Maybe he's trying to fish for more? I can offer you double the salary you currently receive here. Your working conditions will also... No, thank you. What I get now is more than enough for me. <laughs> so what on earth do you want? Like I said, I just want to continue working here. Why are you getting so angry? Because you're not responding the way you're supposed to! I'm simply informing you of my own intentions, although I suppose I'll have no choice if my president orders me to. Fine! I'll get Nanami to transfer you over! At that moment, the president burst into the room. What the heck, sis? Why are you suddenly trying to steal Kosuke from my company? N nanami if you were going to show up, you should have contacted me beforehand. Uh, I, I have a reason for... <clears throat> you see, your big sister has just been so incredibly worried for you. And what does that have to do with headhunting Kosuke? He's clearly plotting something with the way he's sucking up to you. Do you even hear yourself? Um, I've already been in this company for half a year. Too bad for you. He's not that kind of person, and I won't give him to you. D don't get mad, Nanami. I was just worried about you. Then you can stop worrying. Kosuke is a kind and reliable person. M more reliable than me? Yes! Uh, I don't know why I bother! <laughs> huh! Uh, will your sister be alright? It's fine. She acts like that, but she usually comes around pretty quickly, even if you leave her alone. I see. I guess that's okay then. More importantly, I'm sorry, Kosuke. You really wanted to work at Yuki, didn't you? Not at all. I did promise I'd help you out. But... I don't know how much help a newcomer like me will be, but I'll continue to support you from now on. Um, President, you're too close. Do those words apply to other things as well? I was talking about work, and please move a little further back. And, well, despite everything that just happened, we ended up flirting in her office. Ever since then, the President worked harder than ever before. This is the biggest project we've gotten so far. Everyone, give it your all and let's do this! Yeah! yeah! The president's enthusiasm was contagious, and morale was high among everyone in Canon. Uh, what should I do? This is going to be a problem. What happened? This needs to get done by next week. I can do it if you don't have the time. 
Got it. I'll leave it to you then. Huh? You're doing overtime again? Tokiwa, don't push yourself too hard. Oh, yes, I'm okay. I'll be heading home now. Give me a call if you have any problems. I'm almost done with that document that the president passed me. She stays up late every single night. I can't be the one dropping the ball. Huh? You're still here, Kosuke? That should be my line. You must be tired after so many late nights. I am the president after all. Um, can you do something for me? Uh huh? What is it? You can just stay right there. She sat down on the seat beside mine and plonked her head onto my shoulder. What are you doing? <sighs> I'm a bit tired. Can you just lend me your shoulder for a little while? Uh, I guess. Uh, she's so cute that I can't focus on work! I think I like you, Kosuke. Uh, uh, thank you? What do you think of me? Uh, about that, um, can I give you my answer after we wrap up this project? Okay, I'll be waiting. A while after that, we successfully closed the project without incident. It was the biggest thing our little subsidiary company had accomplished this year, but... Huh? You're transferring to Yuki? Yeah, apparently they're currently doing some department restructuring, so I'll be sent to a new department. I see. I am kind of reluctant to leave. You want to come to Tokiwa? No, thank you. I want to stay here. Because the president's here, right? Huh? You knew about us? Who doesn't know at this point? Well, you're the one who gave her a kick in the pants when she needed it. There's probably no one around who can support her as well as you. Good luck, Tokiwa. Thank you for taking care of me up until now. After bidding farewell to the senior who had mentored me since I first joined the company, I finally met up with the president. I'm ready to give you my answer. Okay. I've thought this through very carefully since then, and I've had to face my own feelings head on. And I've come to see that I like you too, President. No, I like you, Nanami. Huh? Really? From now on, not just as my boss, but as a woman. Will you go out with me, Nanami? <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> thank you, Kosuke. I'd like to say thank you too. There's been many twists and turns throughout this journey, but Nanami and I finally started dating. When we broke the news to Nanami's sister and father, who also happened to be the chairman of Yuki Group. That's how it is. Well, I trust Nanami's taste. Ugh, how can I give my Nanami to someone else? <clears throat> Ichika, you be quiet. But are both of you dating with the intention of eventually getting married? Yes, of course. I see. Nanami, do you have any desire at all to take over the Yuki group? Huh? But I thought Ichika was going to. Let's take our chances to discuss this, shall we? Why was Nanami put in charge of a subsidiary company? According to the chairman, it had nothing to do with avoiding inheritance conflicts. It was simply because Nanami was young and unpracticed. He had apparently always planned for her to return to Yuki after accumulating some on-the-job experience. And I'm just overseeing Yuki Group as acting president in the meantime. I'm sorry, we didn't give you a proper explanation. So, you see, it was always the plan for Nanami to come back to Yuki. And I only told her the company was doing badly because I thought she'd be more likely to accept the position if I did. So that's how it is. But now that you're with Tokiwa, we'll have to think more carefully about the future. I'll stay at Kanon. You can have the position of Yuki's president, sis. Are you really sure? Of course! I have a good thing going at Calm right now. Morale is high, and the most important thing is that I want to be where Kosuke is. You can still be with him if you return to Yuki, you know? But I had a realization that Kanon is the best workplace I've ever experienced. Everyone over there is like family, and they're really important to me. Together with Kosuke, I'll build this company up so that it'll one day be able to go head-to-head -head with Yuki! If that's what you want, I have nothing more to say. I'll leave my daughter in your care from now on, Tokiwa. Ever since then, our relationship has been steadily progressing, both in the professional sense and romantic sense. Can you come to my office, Tokiwa? Of course. What could it be so suddenly? <laughs> I can't wait until tonight. Can we hug for a while? 
but we're at work. Uh, fine, just a little, okay? Okay. <laughs> a while after, Nanami and I got married. The way she's normally so serious at work but then turns into a spoiled child when we're alone together, I have the best wife ever. Thank you for telling me how you feel, but I'm sorry. Does that mean your answer is no? Yes, I'm afraid so. On this day, exactly two months after entering high school, I was rejected by my schoolmate, Uno Sugai. Can I ask you why? Oh, you don't know? You don't like me, I guess? I don't even know you that well, Sanomiya. And we're in different classes too. So then, there's somebody else that you like already? Mm-hmm, correct. Seriously? Who? Is it someone in this school? Nope. He's just so hot, you know? Interesting. I want to see what he looks like. Do you want me to show you? We can go. Go where? The place where that person works. I was just about to head there anyway. Would love to. So what is it about this person that you like so much? Hmm... I don't know if I can name one thing, but <laughs> there's a lot. Okay, well, give me an example. Mm, let's see. First of all, his eyes are sharp. I'm cool. Mm-hmm. He has nice hands and fingers. Uh-huh. I'm pretty confident in my fingers, too. Oh, it's true. Oh, your fingers definitely pass. Just my fingers? Yeah, because your hair is so long, it's always covering your eyes. People say they make me look mean, so I'm insecure about my eyes. What else? As we were walking, Uno continued to talk a lot about this guy that she likes. Isn't all of that about his looks? Is there anything else that you like? Yeah, well, that's because it's very one-sided. I guess I admire him from afar, but I haven't really gotten a chance to talk to him. Even when we do talk from time to time, I get so nervous that I forget everything. Oh, so it's not like you guys are dating or that things are going well with that person. Are you trying to say that you think you still have a chance? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not one to give up that easily. Uh, well, you should. I'm taking you there right now to see him. To get you to give up. But I could be asking the same thing. Why do you like me? We're in different classes and we've never spoken before, right? Didn't you also come after me just for my looks? Wow, that's rude. We've spoken before. <laughs> no way. Yes way. That's so disappointing that you don't even remember it. I'm sorry. I've even listened when you needed someone to talk to. Okay, now that has to be a lie. <laughs> Is your memory okay? It's crystal clear. Mm, but I guess to the person that I like, that must be how he sees me too. Never spoken to before, not even within his memory. I'm just another customer. Even though I follow him on social media too. Wow, you must really like him. Yeah, I do. I really like him. Plus, besides that, he posts a lot about cute cafes, so I like following his page regardless. It makes me want to go to all of those places. Anyway, we're here. It's that place over there. I wonder if he's working today. It's that cafe? Yeah. Do you know it? I know it, well, I just don't know it. I go there a lot. My uncle is the owner. Oh, wow, really? Well, then maybe you've seen this guy before. His sharp eyes are hard to miss. And he's about college age. Hmm, college age. Could it be Mr. Machida? Or maybe Mr. Ida? What? Uh, sorry, I actually don't know his name. I'm pretty sure they both have girlfriends. What? Really? Uh, no. Well, anyway, they should both be in today, so we can just ask them directly. Hey! Wait, what? Where are we going? What do you mean, where? Obviously into the cafe. Oh, wait, wait, wait! What's up? Oh, Yuto, why are you here? I thought you had something important to do today. I'm done with that already. Wait, were you proposing? To that girl behind you? That's her? Yes, sir. I told her how I felt, and she flat out rejected me. Nice, nice try. try! You two look like you're having fun, though. Obviously, you guys are the worst. Hey, Uno, are you sure you want one of these losers? Whoa, whoa, what's that supposed to mean? The girl that I like, apparently. Well, it turns out she has a crush on one of the two of you. Um, I have a lot of questions, and I don't even know where to start. But let me just say this first. Uh, neither of them are the person that I like. 
I'm talking about the guy with much sharper eyes. Uh, did we just get rejected too? Huh? But these two are the only college students that work here. Hey now, we're older than you, so show some respect. But wait, isn't this girl one of our regulars? Hello, nice to see you. I feel like she's one of the many people who asked for your social media account, and I gave it to her. Uh, what? Yeah, that's right. And it looks like she hasn't noticed at all yet. Mr. Ida, what are you saying? Yuta, you're a completely different person when you're working and when you're off. Uh, sorry, what was your name again? This girl? Uno Sugai. Well, Uno, hey, isn't the guy that you like this guy right here? Hey, cut it out! Stop it! She's going to hate me! Don't worry, don't worry. There's nothing to be insecure about. See? Look at that. Look at her eyes. Looks like we got a bingo! Uh, it was you? Yes, yes. Yuto's also an employee here. What does this mean? Alright, now you're the one that hasn't noticed. Look, the cafe employee that that girl likes is you! No, but she said it was someone in college. I'm still in high school. Why aren't you getting it? It just means that she was guessing your age wrong. Anyway, good for you. It means you both like each other. Now you should be grateful to me. You can thank me by switching the weekend shift with me. There's a place that's open on Saturday afternoons, and I want to go on a date there. Um, uh... Is that what this means? Really? I'm so sorry! Hey, wait! Ugh, she ran away. Did I do something wrong? Hey, it's your fault, Mr. Ida. This is on you. Mr. Machida, can you pour me a blue mountain? On Mr. Ida's check? All right, all right. Well, what are you going to do now? Huh? I don't know. I guess I'm going to give it one more try. I knew you would. You're not the type to give up so easily. I mean, it looks like I have a much better chance than I did before. Isn't it too early to give up just yet? After that day, Uno started avoiding me and running away as soon as she would see me. For example, in the school hallway. Hey, Uno! Um, uh, um, uh, uh, Hello? Hey, anyway, it's about yesterday. I'm so sorry! Why are you running away again? Another example, by the shoe racks. Oh, are you heading home now? <sighs> yeah. What about you? Yeah, I'm heading to my shift now. Do you want to come to the cafe today? My treat this time. Yes, I... No! Go! Ning! What? Which one is it? Are you coming or not? No, I'm sorry! Why are you apologizing? And she's been avoiding you ever since? How lame! <laughs> Shut up! Ugh, what did I do to make her hate me so much? Oh, no, no, that doesn't mean she hates you. If anything, it's the complete opposite. What do you mean? If you want me to tell you, trade that shift with me. Why do you have to be like that? All right, all right. What it means is that you're the guy that she likes, and she's flustered and doesn't know what to do. But why? If you got proposed to by somebody that you like, why would you run away? You really don't know anything about girls, do you? That's why you have to follow up and make her less nervous. You know, like taking her out on a date. A date, huh? Oh yeah, she mentioned that she looks like my social media. Uh-huh, the one I told her about. That boring account that only posts about cafes and your thoughts about them. And I think she said something about wanting to go to the cafes. That's it! Go take her to a new place and you guys can talk about it together. Alright, I'll try asking her. Oh, and you need to pull your hair back like you do when you're at work. Honestly, you look really lame when you're off. Thanks. Now, about trading shifts with me, like you promised. I guess I'll forgive you for spreading my social media without my permission. But I won't be trading shifts. Oh, come on! The next day, I decided to ask Uno on a date. Of course, she ran away as usual. But I ran after her without giving up, and managed to get a yes out of her. I followed Mr. Ida's advice, and I pulled my hair back before I went to meet up with her. Anytime I dress like this, I can feel a lot of girls staring at me and whispering about me, so I don't like it. Even now, look. There's a group of middle school girls walking by me, and they're staring. But when I look over at them, they scream and run away. It's always been that way. My eyes would always scare girls away. The only reason why I pulled my hair back at work is because the manager makes me. S Sonomiya, thank you for inviting me today. Of course. Thank you for coming. Uh, um... Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Ida told me I needed to pull my hair back, so I did. 
but if it makes you uncomfortable, I can hide them. No, 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 it, it's okay. Just leave it. Just leave it like that, please. If you're okay with it, then sure. You seem different than usual today. Oh, do you think so? Yeah, you look cute. C cute? Yes, cute. And it makes me happy that I get to see you like this. <laughs> you look great too, Sonomiya. Even if you're just flattering me, thanks. Shall we get going? I yes. Uh, which cafe are we going to today? There's a place I've been wanting to go to. It's just over there. But why are you walking so far away from me? I'm not that far from you. Uh, this isn't normal. Is it? Oh, if you come any closer to me, I don't think my heart could handle it right now. Also, why are you speaking so formally? Because when you put your hair back, you suddenly look a lot older and more mature. <laughs> That's weird. I'm just me regardless of my hair. I know, but... So I want you to talk to me normally, too. Uh, okay, I'll try. <sighs> oh, it's that cafe over there. We sat down and finished ordering, but she still looked like she was really nervous. This place is well known for their cakes, too. Are you sure you don't want one? It'll be my treat. I am fine. My stomach is full. Well, I guess my chest is full. Really? Hey, look. Yes? What? You don't need to be so nervous. No, but... Oh, I have admired you for so long that I still can't believe this. About that. I've been meaning to ask you. Since when did you notice me? You probably don't remember. That can't be true. If anything, it's the opposite. You're the one that forgot that I even spoke to you even though I talked to you at the cafe all the time. No. That was just because I didn't realize you were the same person. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I forgive you. So, will you tell me? You're a bit more sadistic than I thought. Am I? I don't think I really am. <laughs> well, anyway. You see, when I first entered high school, I wasn't like this at all. I guess you could say I peaked in high school. I didn't have many friends in middle school. That's why I decided I would try harder in high school. But... I didn't know how or what to do to make friends. Yeah, and then? Then I was swinging around aimlessly and I couldn't make any friends. So in order to cheer myself up, I wanted to eat something sweet. And that's why I went into that cafe and then... I was there? Yeah. And not only that, I don't know if you knew that I was feeling down. But you were really nice to me that day. I got so flustered that... I don't really remember what we talked about, but I felt so much better after that. I was able to put back effort into myself again, and, well, I started learning how to do makeup. Or do my hair, and now I have a lot of friends. And I realized it was all thanks to you. And then that's when I realized that I had fallen for you. See, I'm the only one that remembers our conversations. What? Well, I remember the first time that you and I spoke. You were taking notes about all the good things about everybody in the class, and trying to find conversation starters. I thought that was cute. How hard you were working, and how you were able to see the best in everybody around you. But cute? I was so lame back then, wasn't I? That's not true at all. You were always cute. Plus, you said it was thanks to me, but that's also not true. All I did was listen to you talk and cheer you on. The reason why everything changed for you was because of your hard work. It wasn't thanks to anybody but yourself. Sonomiya. Speaking of, out of your list of 100 things I want to do in high school, how many have you crossed off? How do you know about that? What? You talked to me about it. I... told you about that? Yeah, you did. You talked about wanting to make friends and wanting to go on a date. B please forget about it. At that moment, I heard a stomach rumbling, and it was coming from right in front of me. Uno's face had turned bright red. Oh, no, it's not! I was so nervous today that I wasn't able to eat breakfast and... Like I said before, the cakes here are meant to be their signature item. I heard that the Kirsch Torta is a must. What kind of cake is that? It's a German dessert. A black cherry mountain cake. Uh, do you mind if I take a photo before we eat it? Of course not. Go ahead. Thanks. This feels kind of strange. What does? <laughs> You're going to post that on your social media, right? I always look at the photos through the screen, and I just think about how good it looks, but today I get to see it right in front of me, and actually try it. 
That's not strange at all, though. Because I've wanted to do this with you for a long time. You can try the first bite. Okay. Thanks. Um... Wow! It's delicious! Yeah, this is good. It's a winner. Hmm, what's the cake that you ordered? Do you want to try some? Here. Go ahead. What? Um... What? You can take a bite. No, it's okay. I can take the bite myself. You don't have to be shy. Just take the bite, okay? Um... Okay. Thank you. Here. Say ah. Can you tell what cake it is? Um... Mm, no, I don't know. What? Are your taste buds okay? No, that's not it. I'm just so embarrassed there's no way I could know what flavor it is. Hmm, all right then. Another bite. Oh, stop! That's enough! That's enough already! Are you sure? Well, I guess I'll tell you the answer. It was Weekend Citron. Even if you tell me the name of it, I don't know what that is, but what kind of cake is it? It's exactly in the name. The name? It's a cake that you should eat with your special ones on the weekend. When I gave her the answer, her face turned even more red. Anyway, we should probably get going. Oh, it's already this late? Should we head to the next location? Yeah. Uh, wait, next? Would you mind tagging along to one more place with me? Hey, isn't this a park? Yeah, it is. I thought we were going to another cafe. There's a cafe a little bit further into the park. See? Whoa, <laughs> you are right. This place is one of my favorites. I see. It's a special place. I haven't even posted it on my social media. Hello, Master. I'm sorry for the last-minute reservation today. Looks like the weather's on your side. Yes, sir. And who is this? Is this lady your special friend? Yes, that's her. Well, enjoy. Um, what do you mean by special friend? I like you. Of course that means you're special to me. But more importantly, look. Huh? The view from here is incredible. That short amount of time as the sun is about to set, in this brief moment, as if by a touch of magic, the entire park glistens in gold. It's a special seat reserved only for those who know about it. And I was looking at what I thought was the most beautiful thing in the world. Of course, I'm not talking about the flowers and the butterflies, but the girl sitting in front of me. Oh, wow! It's amazing! Oh, it's so amazing! I'm glad you like it. I wanted to tell you how I feel again, right here. Miss Uno Sugai, please go out with me. What? Not what? You heard me. Uh, yeah? What was that? No, I mean... Uh, I'm... I'm happy. I'm really happy. But uh, I don't think we are matched. I'm not worthy of you. That's not true at all. So please, be my girlfriend. Can we start as friends, or...? I can't. Oh, why not? On your list of things that you wanted to do in high school, I know that you wrote down and circled, get a boyfriend. And if I were to find out that another guy got to cross that off the list, I don't know what I would do. Did that make you feel pressured? Of course it did. Especially since I didn't know how you felt. <laughs> oh, really? It didn't seem like that at all. You seemed so confident. But I see. You're not as confident as you seem. <laughs> You're just like me. <laughs> In that case, then my answer is... <laughs> yes. Are you sure? <laughs> Yes, I can't wait to be your girlfriend. Yes! And so, we finally became boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, welcome. Hello. My shift will be over soon, so can you hang tight? Of course. Here, this one's on me. Hey, wait, are you mad about something? I'm not mad. I'm just jealous. What is there for you to be jealous about? Because there are so many customers today that are clearly here for you, Yuto. That's not true. I think you should be a little bit more aware of how attractive you are. Actually, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> you don't need to know. I don't really know what you're saying, but you have nothing to worry about. Why? Because I'm all yours and yours only, Uno. Uh, how can you say that so easily? More importantly, can you think about where you want to go after this? You still have a lot of things left on your list of things you want to do, right? Let's cross them all off together. Okay, I can't wait! Good luck with the rest of your shift. Thanks. I'm counting down the minutes until I get to hang out with you. I wanted to take my cute girlfriend to a lot of different places. So I started working harder than ever. But there's one thing that I needed to take care of first. 
Oh, Mr. Ida, can you trade shifts with me after this? Why should I do that? Because I'm going on a date with my girlfriend. Are you kidding me? In return, I'll take your shift for the weekend. Thank you for everything. I couldn't forget to thank my colleague who got me there in the first place. Oh, come on, hurry up, Kitamura! If you try to run away, I'm going to steal your first kiss from you! What? Why do I have to come too? My name is Tomoaki Kitamura. I'm a junior in high school. Maybe it's because I have a weak personality, but lately, these two classmates of mine have taken a liking to me and started teasing me all the time. For what it's worth, the girl with the long hair is named Karin, and the girl with the short hair is named Megumi. Oh, should we go to that place today? Agree! Come on, Kitamura. We're going. Uh, I just bought the new game that was released this month, so my wallet is really tight right now. And so these two brats took me to a fast food restaurant. But the next morning, I was waiting in our meetup train station while staring blankly at the clouds. Uh, I can't believe it. Who would have thought that things would turn out like that at that restaurant yesterday? What happened at the fast food restaurant yesterday was, without a doubt, one of the top three incidents of my entire life. What happened was... <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, uh, no, no, please, don't worry about it. Should we go to school then? Yes, sure, I'll follow you. That's right, a weak loser like me ended up with this cheerful and beautiful girlfriend. Um, uh, Miss Michiru? Hmm? What? Uh, are you sure you're okay with someone like me? What do you mean? What I'm saying is, are you sure you're okay that I'm your boyfriend now? Uh, you're the person who said you wanted to have me to go yesterday. What are you saying now? Ah, wait, 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 shh! You're speaking so loudly! Because it's the truth? I could sense the jealousy from the people looking at us. But of course they would be jealous. Miss Michiru had a beautiful face and body just like a model. If you're wondering how I ended up in this situation in the first place, I have to rewind back to the fast food restaurant the day before. Ah, uh, so you think school has been such a chore lately? Oh, seriously. Can something interesting happen soon? I don't disagree with that, but is it really necessary for me to be here? Oh, I just had a great idea. Let's play a game. And if you lose, you have to go talk to that employee over there. Wait. Isn't that girl Michiru Morikawa? Uh, from our school. Miss Michiru Morikawa. We're not in the same classes, but I'd heard her name before. She's really pretty, but outside of school, she was known as a bit of a playgirl. That's what the popular guys at school were saying about her. And in the end, of course, they made sure that I took the punishment for the game. I really don't want to do this. Okay then, would you rather kiss Megumi? I don't want to do that either. <laughs> Megumi, you got rejected. Oh, well, go on now. Hurry up and get your punishment over with. No, but come on. I'm not going to put that employee in a really awkward position. But that all depends on what you're going to say to her, doesn't it? Ugh, fine. Then what am I supposed to say to her? I would like to have a smile, please, or something like that. Of course you're going to say, I would like to have you to go. What? That's insane! I could never say that! If you don't do it, then we're heading straight to your house. And Megumi and I will do something much worse to you. That sounds more like a gift. I would much prefer that. And well, there wasn't much to discuss. So I slowly made my way over to the ordering counter. Uh, um... Yes, what can I get for you? I want to... I, uh... Excuse me? I... I would like to have you to go! My life is over in so many ways! We may not have any classes together, but she's still a girl that goes to the same school and is in the same grade. If anyone at school finds out about this, surely I'll have to go far, far away from the school and be taken out of society. However, she smiled back at me and slowly came closer to my ears. Okay, well, then you can take me to go. What? I'll be done with my shift in about two hours, so can you wait for me? And so, it turns out that I can take her with me. Yes! Welcome back! How did it go? I'm going to meet her in two hours in front of the store. What? Does that mean she said okay? Yes. I didn't have it in me to tell her it was a joke either. 
Looks like you can't run away from this anymore. Rumor has it that that Morikawa girl is quite the playgirl. You've heard those rumors too, haven't you? Of course I have. But I'm not the type to easily believe rumors anyway. Interesting. Well then, now that you've actually spoken to her, what do you think? What's your first impression of her? She was really cute, and she smelled like french fries! <laughs> what the heck? What kind of impression is that? Ugh. But you said you think she's cute, right? More than me? Yes, more than you, Megumi! <laughs> what does that mean? Well, well, Megumi, looks like we should get going then. Oh, you better tell us everything that happens later. See you tomorrow. What? You're both leaving me here? Why would we stay? We would only be in your way. <laughs> Good luck! Karin and Megumi were gone before I could stop them. Luckily, I had my phone with me. So I started playing some games while I waited for her to finish her shift. Nice to meet you. I'm the girl who smells like french fries. Gah! Were you listening to everything we were saying? <laughs> of course. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, but I actually love french fries, so I I didn't mean that as a bad thing. <laughs> don't worry, you don't need to apologize that much. What? Because I also heard you call me cute. Uh, well, yes. I couldn't tell if I was more sorry or more embarrassed, but either way, I knew my face was bright red. After that, the two of us moved to a park nearby. And I told her honestly about my to-go request. I see. So, those two girls dared you to do it? Yes. And I'm pretty weak, so I couldn't say no. Is that true? Huh? Didn't it take a lot of courage to ask me to have me to go? Yes, well... Well then, I'm happy that I could be part of your growth. So you don't need to worry about it. Are you sure? But I really am sorry. She's such a good person. It makes me feel even worse. By the way, why did you say okay? Uh, that's because, to be honest, I thought you seemed pretty great. What made you think that? I guess it's mm, your vibe? You seem really kind, and you were really honest about the dare, too. I'm just indecisive and too scared to say no. Then why don't you start working on those parts of yourself that you're not confident in? That's true. Hmm, but... What can we do to increase your confidence? I'm so sorry, making you think about my own insecurities. No, not at all! Oh, I know! Why don't you and I become a couple? What?! I want to try and support you so that you can gain your confidence as your girlfriend. So, will you take me, Michiru Morikawa, as your partner? And this was how I ended up with my very first girlfriend. That being said, I had no idea how to act or what to do as a couple. To begin with, Michiru was... Oh, why the long face? Nothing. I was just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do, realistically, as your boyfriend. What to do? Realistically? Well, hmm. Shall we kiss then? That's... I can't! <laughs> I'm joking. Well, then why don't we start with me putting my arm in yours? I think I could handle that. Yay! Um... Ah. How do you feel? My heart feels like it's going to beat right out of my chest. Honestly? Me too. It's exciting and embarrassing at the same time. Michiru was so cute, it made it even harder to believe the rumors about her. If she was a playgirl, like the rumors said, I don't think she would turn this red over something as elementary as this. She's honest and pure. I couldn't help but wonder if it was really okay for someone like her to be with someone like me. And so, the two of us headed to school, arm in arm, together. So, how'd it go with Michiru Morikawa yesterday? Yes, about that. I'm now in a relationship with Michiru. What? Already? And you're on a first name basis? She's the one that said she wanted that. Wow, I'm amazed. I didn't know that you can take an employee to go for real. But, you know, I have this weird feeling about this. What do you mean? She really doesn't seem like the person that everyone says she is, according to the rumors. Also, Megumi, can you stop stepping on my foot? I can feel that. Hmm. After school that day, we decided to go on our first date together. Uh, this is my first time coming to this cafe. Oh, that waitress is so cute. What do I talk to her about? Hey, what are you going to order? Um, 
I guess I'll just have a cafe latte. Wow, you live alone? Yes. My parents said I need to become independent, and this was their way of raising me. I want to come over to your house sometime. That's a little fast. <laughs> I'm choking. But, oh wow, that really is amazing that you live alone. She can carry a conversation, but she knows when to stop pushing. Michiru was, at the very least, someone who could read the room and wouldn't do anything to make me uncomfortable. The more I spoke to her, the more I found myself falling for her great qualities. <clears throat> Somehow when I'm talking to you, time flies by. I agree. You seem a little down. Is something the matter? I was just thinking about a lot of things. Things about me? To tell you the truth, yes. Uh, but, but, but not like that! I just mean I'm... I know, I know. Calm down. We were both really clumsy at the start, but little by little, we began to get to know each other and feel more comfortable around one another. I wanted to get to know her better as her boyfriend. We made plans to go on another date that weekend and decided to meet up at the train station before heading to an amusement park. However, um, your outfit today looks really great on you. You look very pretty. Really? Oh, this makes me happy. Your outfit looks great too, Tomoki. Thank you very much. Karin told me, if you say that and compliment her outfit, your girlfriend will be happy. So I did, but she really does look beautiful. And Megumi was the one that chose these clothes. I'm so glad they came to the clothing store with me yesterday. Despite how annoying they were, Karin and Megumi had my back. Although, I won't be reporting any of this to them. We eventually arrived at the amusement park, and we enjoyed our date. From the roller coasters to the Ferris wheel, I couldn't remember the last time I had this much fun. Hey, should we go for a break over there? That's a good call. I'm going to go get us some drinks. After going on a few rides, we sat down on a bench and decided to take a little rest. Tomoki, you still seem a little nervous when you talk to me. You can relax more, you know. This is just how I am. You just have to practice. I think it's really nice how polite you are. But it makes me feel some distance from you. I see. Well then, how's this? I'll try to be more relaxed. <laughs> yeah. See, you can do it. I only speak to my family this casually, so I still feel pretty awkward about it. Uh, then what are you like with your friends? Friends? I don't have any. So you're a loner in class? Normally those two girls I was at your restaurant with, Karin and Megumi, will talk to me, but... I see. Oh, no, no, of course, it's not like that. I keep my distance from them. Don't fret, I'm not worried about that. But if you loosened up a bit more like you are now, maybe you would have more friends. That would be nice, but... You still don't have confidence in yourself? Yeah, it just makes me realize that I have to do something about my weak and shy personality. Well then, I'll put a good luck spell on you. Before I knew it, she had knocked me sideways, and I found myself with my head in her lap. <laughs> there, there. Um, Michiru, what are you doing? This is the spell for when you're feeling lost or having a hard time. My mom used to do it for me when I was little. When you lay down like this, your worries will start to melt away. So to me, it's like a magic spell. Mom, look over there. Those two people are flirting with each other. Hey now, don't interrupt them. Uh, come here. Uh. I was overwhelmed with embarrassment. It seemed like Michiru felt the same way. Her face was so red that I felt like she might breathe fire. On Monday, back at school, after the weekend. So that's what happened. And I'm not sure what else to say. Whoa, what the heck? It looks like things are going really well. <laughs> I can smell the love in the air. Damn it. How did this happen? <laughs> Nothing else happened after that, though. But hey, you never had your first kiss yet. Right, Kitamura? Yes, that's right. Aw, uh, is that because you've been saving it for me? That is most certainly not the case. Uh, excuse you. As the boyfriend, you should be taking initiative for these things, all right? I know, but the timing... Oh, come on. You just have to pull her in close and plant one on her. That's it. Please, don't say that like you're directing a movie. Huh? Just have to pull her in close and plant one on her, huh? Tomoki, would you be interested in working at a fast food restaurant with me part-time? Our manager has been looking for someone and... 
No way. I could never! And lately, we've been understaffed and... What's wrong? Oh, um, nothing. Are you thinking about something again? No, nothing. I'm not thinking about anything. Really? Yes, really, I promise. <laughs> I could never kiss someone this beautiful, even though I want to. One week later, I started working part-time at the fast food restaurant with Michiru. And when it comes to the cashier register... Since she and I were both in school, the manager put us on the same shifts. In the beginning, it was all new to me, and I made a lot of mistakes. But Michiru would always follow through and have my back. And eventually, I got the hang of it. Within a month of starting the new job, I was starting to feel like a useful employee and part of the team. Great job today. Looks like you can do it all on your own now. <laughs> it's all thanks to you, though. I am technically a more senior colleague, so of course I can help you. Thanks. By the way, you're getting more comfortable, right? Hmm? Well, I guess you could say that, yeah. I've gotten pretty used to this, so I'm not as nervous anymore. What is she trying to say? If you're living alone, I was starting to think that I want to come over and make dinner for you sometime. If that's okay with you. What? Like now? I mean, uh, well, it's okay if you don't want me to. I don't not want you to. How can someone be this cute? Whoa, it looks amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty good at cooking if I do say so myself. Pretty good? This is professional level. Everything looks incredible. You can say that after you've tried it. Of course, everything she made was absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Michiru. For the food? No, for everything. Thanks to you, I'm starting to feel more and more confident in myself. So I was thinking, I want to do something in return for you. Oh, that's not necessary. Oh, yeah. Well, then... I have a test coming up, so can you help me study for it? Sure thing. But we're in different classes, so there's probably not many subjects I can help you with. That's okay. I want you to teach me English and math. I guess my class is ahead in both of those subjects, so I think I can help you. Well then, starting tomorrow at school... No, I meant here. What? If we're here, then we're alone without any distractions. Would that be okay? When she asks me with such a cute face, how could I say no? There was no way I could say no! After that, we started studying for tests together at my house. My time spent with Michiru continued to increase from there. We would walk to and from school together and spend all of our recesses together too, at work and at my house. Before I could even realize, I had gotten used to this life with Michiru. And at the same time, I found myself feeling more fulfilled with myself and my life. I got the results from the test! Ooh, nice! A's in both English and math! It's all thanks to you, Tomoki! I'm glad I was able to be of some help. Well, since neither of us have work today, should we celebrate your test scores tonight? Yeah! That night, I debated whether to ask her something that had been on my mind, but I decided to go for it. Michiru, I know it seems a little late for me to ask you this, but you knew of me before we started dating, right? <laughs> yeah... To tell you the truth, I knew you since our first year of high school, but how did you know that? I see. So I was right. The first time I spoke to you, I didn't even introduce myself, but you called me by my first name, and I've been wondering about it ever since. Even Karin and Megumi still call me Kitamura. In our first year of high school, I had dropped my wallet and was lost at the train station because I didn't know how to get home. That was when you smiled at me and... And I fell in love at first sight. That does sound familiar. I remember that, but wait a minute. I feel like it was a much more plain girl at that time. Well, that girl was me. That was when I decided that I wanted to be more pretty and attractive. So I started working a part-time job so that I could buy new clothes and makeup, hoping that one day you would notice me. Does that mean that she's been working hard at her job and wanted to become pretty because she wanted me to like her? It doesn't get any cuter than that! Eventually, I was finally able to gain confidence in myself. But we were in different classes and I didn't know how to approach you. That was when I found out that my two friends from middle school, Karin and Megami, were going to be in the same class as you next year. Huh? Kitamura? As in, that guy in our class? He seems really shy. Yeah, that's the person that I like. 
<laughs> well then, you can leave it to us. Yeah, yeah. We'll become friendly with him. And then we'll make him go out with you. Oh, thank you. Both of you. I spoke to the two of them about it, and that's what they said to me. It all makes sense now. That's why they started talking to me, a nobody out of nowhere. They may have teased you a little bit too much, but please don't blame them for it. They were also trying to find ways to make you more confident in yourself, too. Ah, I see. Was that their plan? To make me more used to talking to girls? Yep. <laughs> and they thought you might say no if they tried to introduce me to you in a normal setting. Turns out that the punishment game at that fast food restaurant was all part of the plan. But Karin and Megami were doing it all to find the best way for me and Michiru to get together. And they were right. If they just introduced Michiru to me back then, I know that I would have said no and not known what to do. I had no confidence in myself. So even if she asked me out, I probably would have said I'm sorry and ran away. I'm sorry for hiding that from you all this time. Don't be sorry. I'm happy. It's almost like a sweet little lie that you told just for me. I'm just happy to hear it. Plus, thanks to all that, I was able to gain a little confidence. But more importantly, the cutest girlfriend in the world. Oh, Tomoki! So there's something I want to tell you, too. Michiru, I like you. I like you a lot. I want to be by your side forever. And I'm going to keep working hard to become a confident man that you feel the same way about. So, will you be with me forever? As my partner in crime? <laughs> yes! And so, we lean forward and kiss each other. My special person. My girlfriend. I knew that I wanted to protect her and treasure her. Now and forever. At the same time, I was filled with gratitude for Karin and Megami too. It made me realize that maybe, confidence comes from how many people you can show your gratitude to in your life. So, he knows everything now, huh? Well, you stole Kitamura's first kiss, but I guess I can be okay with that. <laughs> Thank you, both of you. You know, sorry for teasing you so much, you know? You're just so cute, I couldn't help myself. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look at you! Is it just me, or have you become more of a man? <laughs> I'm so proud of you! If you're ever going to cheat, I recommend myself. I'll never cheat, I swear! Oh, hey, you two! Oh, that's my boyfriend! Michiru is cute even when she gets a little jealous. I promise to see Michiru and Michiru only for the rest of my life. <laughs>